Well, at first sight, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of like that. I just kind of fell, fell in love with her instantly. She was a sweetheart. Uh, she was a loving, caring person back then, and within six months, uh, we were engaged. May 2nd, 1970, we got married. She just shined from one end to the other. Uh, you'd talk to her and you'd, you'd shine with her. She'd just bring that out in people. We were all close and we all stayed close. We're just a caring, loving family. Nothing else matters anymore. Now I'm concerned for my wife. I want to make her life as comfortable and as long as possible. Because she couldn't do chemo, she was on a pill that she had to take once a month. She needed the pill to keep her alive, to keep her going. And so it's a life and death pill. Started out at $3,800 for this pill. Who makes that kind of money? I certainly did. I mean, logically, sell a house. We got equity, it's paid for. You know, we can keep, keep going. We can rent somewhere and, you know, still have a quality of life. But my wife, the way she was, such a caring person, she didn't want to do that. She wanted that house to be there for me from when she's gone so I could carry on and enjoy my life. She was trying to tell me, I worked hard all my life for this house. Enjoy it when she's gone. But after she passed on, I couldn't do it anyway. I couldn't enjoy it. Couldn't enjoy the house, nothing, so I had to sell it. <laughs> you know that part of your heart's gone. Couldn't live there anymore. Too many bad memories, too many good memories, just too tough.